Hey guys, it's Kathleen with Thrifty Bridges and I've got another Thrift With Me video for you. I was away this past week in Indiana for my granddaughter's christening. Um, and so I didn't get to thrift on Saturday, but I did run over to the Goodwill in Warsaw and um, shoot some footage. And let me tell you, it was a huge disappointment. This is exactly why I hate Goodwill. Look at these prices. I purchased exactly five items and I paid $34.19. Let me move my finger. $34.19 for five items. That is the worst deal ever. I saw a couple of things that I definitely wanted to pick up. Like there were two Torrid blouses that were brand new with tags and a size extra large, but they had them priced at $24.99. $24.99. It's insane for goodwill go figure um everything that i picked up with the exception of one item was 6.99 and i think you will agree that it is no great shakes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a little bit of the footage and there's not a lot of it because i didn't get a lot and then i'll come back and do the thrift haul but then i am also going to add in some things that i glommed from karen's infinite infinite death pile so i will include those things as well all right i'll be right back
れてそうやばい水の方をはい、皆さん、こんにちは。今日のビデオで、私は5つのパスワードを見つけたいと思います。一つ目は、パスワードのパッケージが新しいです。私は確認したので、それが確認されていません。そして、バッテリーや全てが一応閉じているので、私は知らないので、それが新しいです。そして、パッケージの価格は、このようにパッケージの価格は、25ドルの価格です。これは、このようにパッケージの価格は、$3.99。Okay, the next four items are all clothing. This I picked up simply because of fabric content. So it's Bob Mackie, which really has not shown me the love over the years. However, this is 100% silk. And so I figured, well, for 100% silk, I will definitely give it a shot. It's a button down.、Um, it is in a size 24 wide, which is a great size. So, I'm hoping that I can get around $20 for this, maybe a little bit more because of the silk. We shall see. Is it 100% silk? Yeah, it is 100% silk. I don't know if you can see it there.、Um, so, it's not a silk blend, and I'm going to steam it up and see how it comes. But, okay, this is Lane Bryant, and it is in a size 18 20. And I really got this because of style and also because of condition. So, It has these really pretty bell sleeves. I thought it could be used really nicely in the summertime, but also would transition well into the fall if you want to put like a short sleeve shirt or a tank top underneath it. I mean, you have to put a tank top underneath it, right? That wouldn't be a good look for anybody.、Um, but it is in awesome condition. It looks like it's never been worn or washed. So、um, I'm figuring I can get probably about $18 for that. Next, I grabbed. Um, this soft surroundings, which you know, soft surroundings is just meh lately. However, it's another good size. This is in a size 1X. And I also picked this up because of style. It's a really cute little shrug、um, that I, I thought was in excellent condition. I like that it has the roll tab sleeves on it. It's in a cute little sheer navy blue. Um, so, I thought this was worth taking a shot. And then the last thing that I got at Goodwill was this logo by Lori Goldstein. Her stuff moves for me. It may not you know, bring me in millions of dollars, but it does move、um, almost everything that I've ever listed by her or sold. But I also like the style.、Um, first of all, this is the softest, softest cotton. It's in a size large. And then it has. This detail on the bottom, which is like kind of like the sheer overlay, but it's also textured, and I just thought it was really cute. So I was willing to take a shot for $6.99 on this. Everything else in this thrift haul is from Karen's Death Pile. First is a new to me brand, these are called Piccolinos. Oh, can you see that? There you go, Piccolinos. So, I was having a little bit of trouble finding the size. So, I've got to get my iPhone to it because it's one of those where it's listed underneath like the tongue of the shoe or somehow inside. I don't know. So, I've got to figure out the size. But these have a really good sell through rate. So, even pre owned, I think these should bring right around $30. And she paid $3 for these at a yard sale. Okay, this she also got at a yard sale. This one was only $2, and this is La s p o r t Sac. And so it is an embroidered, like, I guess that's like a floral pattern on the embroidery there, but it is in stellar, stellar condition. I mean, it hardly looks used at all. The inside is this really pretty pink. And it's just really nice and clean. I have to do a little bit of digging to see if it's a vintage piece. I feel like it is, but I really am not as familiar with Le s p o r t Sac as I used to be back in the 80s when this was totally my jam. So I'll have to check it out.、Um, I'm estimating that this is gonna bring me right around $25. Okay, I have a couple of issues with this shirt. This is New with Tags Limited Express that retailed for $49, $49.90. However, it's some sort of 
what do you call it? Not a leotard, a, um, not a tank top. What is it? When it has the snap crotch. Body suit, that's the word I'm looking for. But I cannot, for the life of me, get it turned around so that it looks like it's supposed to look. And I think part of the problem is that it has this tank underneath it, and then the sleeves are like, you kind of hook them, you know, they're kind of sheer, and they kind of hang off your shoulders. So this is a hot mess, but it's a hot mess that is new with tags. So I'm estimating this will be uh, bring me in right around 20 to $22. Okay, I grabbed this Kate Spade bag from her death pile. This is also in awesome, awesome condition. Look at the interior, just beautiful. This was $5 at a yard sale, and she bought a ton of designer purses from this lady. In fact, we've already sold a few of them. It's got this leather trim in the corners. Um, and all of the hardware says Kate Spade. So um, when I did a really quick preliminary search for comps online, I was seeing some Paisley canvas bags going for like $75 pre-owned. I'm not kidding myself into thinking that this is one of those. However, I'm still hoping, cautiously optimistic for between the $35 to $40 range. Okay, this is also another new to me brand. This is Joseph Ripkoff. So this is in a size 14, so a really good size, super, super pretty, has these lovely bell sleeves, which I am so a fan of. And then it has this detailing on it with the flowers. Well, I'm not gonna get them all buttoned, but you see how it is. These flowers go all down the front. Whoops, wrong side all down the front and really, really good condition. Even though it's white, it does not have any stains on it or anything. Estimating I should get somewhere around the $35 mark for this. Okay, I picked this up simply because it was new with tags from her death pile. It's a size small, not my favorite size to sell, plus my tubs with size small stuff are overflowing, but it was new with tags. It originally retailed for $65 and it's a silk blend tank top, I liked the colors, and I also liked the pattern. So I thought it was worth giving it a shot since it still had the tags on. Had it not had the tags on, I definitely would have passed this over. She got this at a yard sale for a dollar. Oh, and the um, Joseph um, Ripkoff shirt she picked up at an estate sale for $5. Okay, this is from that same purse lady. She paid $5 for this purse. It is a genuine Dooney Bork, Dooney Burke, however you say it. I usually say Dooney Bork and then my daughter corrects me and tells me I sound like a moron when I say it that way. But that's how I grew up saying it. Um, in perfect condition. Look at that gorgeous pebbled leather, super, super soft. Honestly, I haven't looked at the comps for this, but I'm thinking 50 to $60. I may be way, way off base, um, but I will definitely flash the comps that I find up there um, when I'm editing the video. Okay, here's another new to me brand. This is called A Solo Sport, and these are a hiking shoe, and these are for sure a bolo. So Karen paid $4 for these at a yard sale and they, I can't remember the size, eight. They are in a size eight and these resell for between 40 and $50. So definitely keep your eyes open for these. Okay, next is a pair of sunglasses. These are the Ginger sunglasses. They are super, super teeny tiny and small. Um, but really nice, really good condition. No scratches on the frames whatsoever. They have all of the coach writing on the inside. So Karen paid $2 for these at a yard sale, and I'm estimating I should get about $20 for them. And then the last two items are also coach items. They are just these little wristlets. She paid $3 for each of these at that same yard sale where she got all the purses. This is just this cute little white and gold, and it has the little hang tag. Again, awesome interior, really good condition. I know my lighting isn't so hot in here, um, so it may be hard to see. And then this one is so soft. I just love this one. I'm not really a gold lame kind of girl, but I just thought this was darling and for three bucks, you can't go wrong. Similar to the other one, it has the purple interior. 
I haven't done the comps on these, so I'll also flex those up there. I'm not really sure. I'm estimating about $15, but that's just a total shot in the dark for me. All right, guys, that is everything for this Thrift With Me video. As always, if you like thrifting content, hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Show us the love. And remember, it's not cheap. It's thrifty. Bye, guys.